Hello people, today we will talk about Noah Kahan. Let's learn a little about his history and career before fame. Noah Kahan is an American singer-songwriter known for his folk-inspired indie pop music. He gained popularity with his introspective lyrics and emotive sound, which blends folk, pop, and rock influences. Kahan was born on January 1, 1997, and grew up in Stratford, Vermont, a rural setting that has greatly influenced his music. Noah Kahan grew up in a small town in Vermont, which he often references in his songs, drawing inspiration from the natural beauty and isolation of the region. He began writing and playing music at a young age, using songwriting as an outlet to express his thoughts and experiences. By the time he was a teenager, Kahan was uploading music to SoundCloud, where he started gaining attention. Kahan's big break came when he signed with Republic Records in 2016, after his music attracted industry attention. He released his debut single, Young Blood, in 2017, which quickly went viral, earning millions of streams and helping to build his fan base. The song's success led to collaborations with high-profile producers in the release of more singles, including Hurt Somebody in 2018, a song that further cemented his place in the indie pop scene. A version of Hurt Somebody featuring Julia Michaels also gained significant popularity. Khan released his debut studio album, Busy Head, in 2019. The album featured songs that explored themes of anxiety, mental health, and navigating life as a young adult. His sound combined folk melodies with indie and pop elements, earning him comparisons to artists like Ed Sheeran and Vance Joy. In 2021, Kahan released his second album, I Was, I Am, which continued to delve into personal and emotional themes. The album reflected his growth as an artist, with more mature songwriting and a deeper exploration of his experiences with relationships and self-identity. Kahan's most significant commercial success came with the release of his third album, Stick Season, in 2022. The album was named after the late fall season in Vermont, where the leaves have fallen but snow has yet to arrive. Songs like Stick Season and Northern Attitude resonated with fans due to their introspective lyrics and folk-driven sound, earning widespread critical acclaim. Noah Kahn's music is often characterized by its lyrical honesty and emotional depth. His lyrics reflect personal struggles with mental health, relationships, and growing up in a rural, sometimes isolating environment. He is heavily influenced by folk music, drawing inspiration from both traditional folk sounds and modern indie folk artists. His unique sound blends acoustic guitar, soulful vocals, and a mix of folk and pop production, appealing to fans of multiple genres. Kahan's authenticity and vulnerability in his songwriting have allowed him to connect deeply with his audience. Noah Kahan has been open about his struggles with anxiety and mental health, often discussing these topics in interviews and through his music. His openness has resonated with fans, making him a voice for those who experience similar challenges. Noah Kahan has carved out a space for himself in the indie folk pop genre with his thoughtful and raw songwriting. His music has not only gained him a loyal fan base, but also critical recognition for its emotional resonance and lyrical depth. With his rising popularity, Khan continues to be a significant voice in modern folk-inspired pop music. I ask you to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you later.